Hey guys, James Perrine with EFI here with you again. Uh, I want to share uh, a feature inside of Command Workstation that many of you may be aware of, um, <clears throat> but there are different ways to utilize it. So I, I just kind of wanted to share it uh, for practice purposes so everybody was aware of it. So what I'm talking about is workflow presets and virtual printers. So I'm working here with Command Workstation um, 6.3. Um, <clears throat> You still have the same functionality with the older version, but they're in different places. Um, so I want to set up a workflow. And if I click here and go to Device Center, this is where I can create a workflow preset. Um, you know, so it's those high repetitive type of activities and set up for a job, and you don't want to repeat those. You want to just pick the workflow preset to apply to the job. <laughs> Um, so if I go here under <clears throat> job presets, workflow under workflows, job presets, this is where I can create some presets. Uh, so I can click new here, give it a name, call it a test here. I can give it a description if I want. Uh, but then I can say define um, the presets. And this, what this will do is open up as if you know, I was going to open up a file and go through all the properties of a print driver and select all my settings. Um, so let's let that thing open up real quick here. There we go. Now I can go through and set everything that I want. You know, am I defining a certain media for this job? Uh, what's the layout? Is it two-sided? You know, uh, am I rotating it? Whatever the case is. At this point, I could even pull in some imposition templates. You know, if I have impose and I have templates set up, I could pull these templates into here. Okay. Any color settings that might be different, image, finishing, right? Whatever it is, you guys get the idea. When you're done with that <clears throat> and you click OK, you will now have a new preset down here called test. Okay. So how do you use that preset now that we have it set? Well, there's a couple different ways you can use it. First, if I just go back to the queue, any job that I have in my queue, if I right click on the job, I can say apply workflow. And I can apply this job to a workflow that I have set up. You can see there's the new one I put test. All right, that's one way you can do it. Another way is, is when you import a job, oops, let me click off of this, let me click import job, and I pull a job. It's going to come up with this menu asking you where you want to import it to. I could select my queues down here, but if I have a server preset, look at this. I can import that job against a server preset, and I can hold this job just putting it in the queue, or I can say process and hold, or print, or print and hold, okay? There's also one other way that you can get a preset to be used during a job. And to demonstrate this, I'm going to minimize this just a little bit. I'm going to go out and pull this a file from somewhere in my file system here. Um, let me just find something here that's a PDF. There we go. And if I drag this file, instead of dragging it into the queue, if I drag it right here over the name of the server, look at that same window that you saw before pops up where I can use a, per a server preset and then I can go over here and select test and put it into the queue any way I want. So a workflow preset or a job preset in this case, there's a lot of different ways to get the job in there and creating it. Um, what's the same for virtual printers is if I go into Device Center and I decide I'm going to set up a virtual printer, the, the workflow for setting up a virtual printer is almost identical to your job presets. If I come in here and click New, I give it a name, Test VP, give it a description. At this time, I can tell what I want the queue action to be because remember, in a virtual printer, you're doing you know file print and you're picking it from a list of printers just like you would if it was an actual printer. And then I can go under my job properties and I can select a preset that's already been set up. So I can actually select this workflow preset to be part of this virtual printer. Okay, click OK, and it ends up in my list of virtual printers. Okay, you can see it right there. 
Now if I import a job and I say open, now you'll notice here I have not just use server preset, but I can use a virtual printer preset and it shows all my virtual printers. And the same is true if I wanted to drag the file. I could drag this file into that same location I did before. It'll pop up the window and you notice I can use my virtual printer. So um, job presets are in server presets and virtual printers, a lot of different ways to use them. Um, they all serve a purpose. You know, their workflow uh, improvements. Um, you know, if you have any questions about these things, you know, feel free to reach out to me. All right. Hope this is helpful. Uh, good selling. Talk to you guys later. Bye.